You're watching TV News. The European Union country office in Nigeria has expressed satisfaction with the implementation of its support projects in Katsina State. Indeed, and as a result, its ongoing field to wood balance project, which is about winding up, may likely be extended by one year. The implementing partners say adequate structures have been put in place for the locals to continue with the projects even after the withdrawal of the sponsors. And our correspondent, Awal Ibrahim, tells us more. This is an annual review meeting of some European Union funded projects being implemented by Axfam, ICID, and the Omar Musa Eradua University, Kusuna. The 48 month projects include the Fuel Wood Balance for Over, implemented by Axfam Nigeria, and the sustainable development of farm agroforestry. Participants are assessing the levels of progress attained in the last four years in the 12 benefiting local councils in Kusuna State where the projects are being implemented. Sponsors of the program appear satisfied with the levels of achievement so far recorded. What happened was when we wanted to come back again for another project, such as that project, we checked the sustainability of that former project and found out that that is still existing, that most of the staff <laughs> of that project of 1987 has still been retained by the Kosina State Government. Their salary is being paid. The building is still evergreen. The Director of International Cooperation, Federal Ministry of Budget and Planning, is represented at this event and believes the program has achieved a major milestone since its inception. To inform you that the government of Nigeria is very pleased with the success of this project, given the series of Given the series of interventions conceived in the grant agreement. The Kazano State for our project manager sheds more light on the achievements recorded. Improving the fuel wheel balance project is funded by the European Union, implemented by Oxfam, IC and Omar Rumusayaradwa University in Casino State. We were given uh, a target of planting 5.5 million trees for lot two, and we have uh, uh, planted 7.05 million trees. And we are given a target of 35,000 more efficient clean cook stove to produce and disseminate. He also advocates for more legal structures to be put in place to checkmate the indiscriminate cutting down of trees. Members of the benefiting communities express appreciation to the sponsors and implementers of the program. <laughs> As a result of this project, I have repaired my house and I have also bought a number of farms. It has also benefited my extended family members. We are up to 116 in our cluster. The program is expected to regenerate forest land and reduce the indiscriminate cutting down of trees to the barest minimum. Awal Ibrahim, TVC News, Kasana.